हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एफएमटी गुरु शॉर्ट सिंप्लीफाइड टेन मिनट सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस लेड पॉइजनिंग इन टेन मिनट्स लेड पॉइजनिंग इज वेरी कॉमनली एस्ट एमसीक्यू इन यूर आईएनएसईट एग्जाम नीट पीजी एग्जाम एफएमजी एग्जाम एंड आल्सो इन यूजी एग्जामिनेशन इट कैन बी एस्ट एस फाइव मार्स क्वेश्चन इन यूजी एग्जाम्स lead poisoning it is known as plumbism it can be asked in exam plumbism satanism painter's colic or minor's disease you can remember the important clinical features in case of lead poisoning with the help of pneumonic bahubali okay let discuss about what are the sources of lead poisoning the sources are basically lead acid batteries or duracell battery so acid batteries they contain lead bullet dust that can that contain lead air pollution remember arsenic it is water related lead poisoning it is actually air pollution related then it can be paints which contain lead chromate lead chromate it can be asked in exam lead diacetate which is known as sugar of lead the fatal dose is 20 g or lead sulfide lead sulfide is the least toxic compound of lead lead tetroxide It is also asked in exam, which is there in Sindur, Vomilan, tetra ethyl lead, which is fatal dosage is around 100 milligram per kg body weight, which is used as anti knock agent in petrol, lead carbonate, the common source, the fatal dosage is 40 gram. Lead poisoning is also known as painter's colic. It is also known as satanism. You can remember the mnemonic Bahu Bali. so b for what is b for so the first picture on the left side you can see the topmost a patient suffering from lead poisoning you can see clearly visible blue black line so this is known as burtonian line also known as burton's line okay this is the burton's line b for burtonian line burton's line which is seen in 50 to 70% of the cases but remember it is not specific it can be seen in copper poison iron poison mercury poison silver poison it is first explained by henry burton in 1840 so b for burtonian line and the second image you can see there second image you can see there is a microcytic hypochromic anemia okay so this is the differential diagnosis of iron deficiency anemia you can see there is a anemia because of anemia there will be facial pallor so you can see here anemia and the facial pallor if they ask you an exam earliest finding in case of lead poisoning your answer should be facial pallor that is because of either anemia or because of vasospasm why there is anemia because of inhibition of heme synthesis basically there are two enzymes which are inhibited one is ala dehydratase and the second one is ferrochelatase then then the third picture you can see here h4 h4 it is actually headache and encephalopathy headache and encephalopathy which is a common finding in children in children encephalopathy is a common a complication of lead poisoning which is commonly associated with tetraethyl lead lead poisoning also associated with hallucinations hypertension and hyperesthesia and there is a, a motor neuropathy in case of lead poisoning it is also asked in exam motor neuropathy and you can see a child suffering from the lead encephalopathy the treatment will be ball and calcium edta combination then u for that is 
increase uroporphyrins like example coproporphyrins uroporphyrins all these porphyrins are increases and also there is increased levels of delta amino levulinic acid and one more b comes here the mnemonic the b for basophilic stippling basophilic stippling why there is a basophilic stippling all of you it is because of inhibition of 5 prime nucleotidase enzyme which causes actually rna aggregation that leads to basophilic stippling so b a h u b that is bartonian line anemia encephalopathy and headache uroporphyrin increased basophilic stippling next other part now look at this a for bahubali a for a for you can see there is a abortion so abortion because of the compound known as lead oleate so abortion atrophy of optic now arthralgia abdominal pain and constipation the most common clinical feature constipation not diarrhea and the abdominal pain and that is one more that is lead palsy l for lead palsy and lead bands you can see there is a wrist drop there is a wrist drop is there here it is because of the neuropathy neuropathy caused by the lead and also you can see an x-ray there are lead bands are there lead bands lead bands also you can see in the children so so you can see the x-ray of a child of less than 18 year old and there are lead bands are there probably due to lead then then one more that is i for last word impotency impotency infertility and insomnia irritability all these are the clinical features they are seen in lead poison earliest manifestation facial pallor most common finding constipation abdominal colicky pain then diagnosis and treatment so diagnosis by blood level of the that is lead that is more than 45 microgram per deciliter then you should start the chelation therapy basically you should start calcium edta around 1000 milligram per meter square which is given iv and ball is also given that is that is intramuscularly that is given in case of encephalopathy if the mild patient or asymptomatic patient then you can give oral dmsa or oral penicillamine then what are the important MLI and cause of death? Cause of death, all of you, it is encephalopathy or liver failure, renal failure or the intercurrent infection or malnutrition. Medical legal importance as we discussed already, it is used in criminal abortion. It can be an occupational disease. The, the poisoning can be seen in souvenir bullet. It can be a cattle poison and then it also leads to impotency because of low sperm count. So this is about the important clinical feature, management, diagnosis of the lead poisoning, Bahu Bali. So thank you. Happy reading.